Bakit nga ba natutunaw ang yelo kapag inilabas natin sa freezer? Why does it melt when dropped in a bowl of warm water? Why does heat flows between objects of different temperatures? Why does it stop once it reaches a certain point? What is the significance of temperature in this process? What exactly is meant by heat? At ano naman ang temperature? Isa lamang ito sa mga katanungan na sasagutin natin sa lesson vlog na ito. Hello researchers! Hello grade 8 students! This is me again, Teacher Ting May, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in science. our week 6 module 6 and for today's lesson vlog we're going to discuss about the difference between heat and temperature. Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba nila? Heat and temperature are a closely related topic yet the difference between the two can be a bit confusing. Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba nila? Meron ba talaga silang pagkakaiba? Let us start by defining the meaning of these two words. Pag sinabi nating heat, heat is an energy. When we say heat, this is a quantity of energy absorbed or given off by an object. Samantala, when we say temperature, this is the measure of hotness or coldness of an object. So, paano ba natin nasusukat a quantity of energy of the heat and the measurement of hotness and coldness of temperature? We can measure heat by using calorimeter and we can measure temperature by using thermometer. The core difference between heat and temperature is that heat deals with thermal energy while temperature is more concerned with molecular kinetic energy. Okay, we define heat as the transfer of thermal energy between objects due to temperature differences. So, ano po ba yung thermal energy? When we say thermal energy, this is the energy which is contained within the system which is responsible for the temperature. However, temperature is the property the object exhibits. Kaya nga, di ba, sinabi kanina na temperature is more concerned with molecular kinetic energy. Ano ba pag sinabi ulit natin na kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is also a property of objects in motion. Okay, isa itong property ng mga gumagalaw na particles and objects na hindi lang ito nakadepende sa kanilang motion but also sa kanilang mass. Take note that heat transfer from an object of higher temperature to an object of lower temperature. Heat is a form of energy and is measured in joules. Okay, with this diagram, how can you state the second law of thermodynamics? The second law of thermodynamics states that heat will always flow spontaneously from hotter substances to colder ones. Itong second law of thermodynamics, ito rin yung maaring magpaliwanag sa atin kung bakit yung mga ice cubes ay natutunaw kapag inilabas natin sa freezer o kaya kung bakit hindi sila na full form uh, kapag mainit ang panahon. At ito rin yung nag-explain kung bakit kapag nilaglag mo itong ice cube sa isang bowl na may mainit na tubig, eh kung bakit natutunaw itong ice cubes. To explain further kung bakit ba natutunaw itong ice cube kapag nilagay natin sa bowl of warm water is that in a thought of experiment, this ice cube will gain heat or nagigain siya ng thermal energy na nanggagaling doon sa bowl of warm water. Pagkatapos, anong kasunod na mangyayari dyan? Tataas ang kanyang thermal energy. Kapag tumaas ang thermal energy niya, naging niya kasi yung thermal energy, tataas naman ang kanyang kinetic energy. Ki tataas ang kinetic energy do doon sa ice cube. Kapag tumaas ang kinetic energy, nagkakaroon din ng increase sa temperature. At alam naman natin na ang temperature, this is the measure of average kinetic energy. So, anong mangyayaring kasunod niyan? Okay, the ice cube will continue to gain thermal energy. At kapag nag-gain na niya ulit yung thermal energy, so ano nangyayari dun sa ice cube? Mas bumibilis ang kanyang molecular kinetic energy, mas nag-move siya ng mas mabilis, kaya ang nangyayari sa intermolecular bond ng mga molecules ay naghihiwahiwalay at nagbe-break kaya siya nag-melt. 
So that explains the second law of thermodynamics. The unit for heat is calorie and it is measured by using calorimeter. Temperature describes the average kinetic energy of a molecule within a material or system and it can be measured in Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin, or Rankin. Ang temperature ay tinatawag din na state process. Ibig sabihin, it is a measurable physical property of an object. While heat is also known as the process variable, which means heat measures how energy moves and flows. Let's take this as our example. Okay, let us prepare two glasses of water. Okay, glass A is cold water and glass B is warm water. Let us try to dip our finger in each of the glass of water. This is glass A, which is cold water. And the other one is warm water for glass B. Now, let us describe the heat and temperature of the water. If you're going to perform this experiment, in which glass of water did you feel the water warm? Of course, in glass B. And in glass A, this is cold water. Okay, now, how did we know that glass A is cold and glass B is warm. In warm glass, the heat can be felt radiating off the water, while in glass A, the cold glass, there is no heat radiating from the water. Okay, what do you think is the temperature of the water? Okay, if I'm going to put my hands here in the cold water, I can feel that the cold glass is around 10 degrees Celsius or below. While glass B, the warm water, I think it is above 30 degrees Celsius. Maybe 30 degrees Celsius, 35 or 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, why is it we could not tell accurately the temperature of the water and we just estimate the temperature of these two waters? It's because we are not using a thermometer and we know that thermometer is the device that can be used to measure the accurate measurement of temperature. And remember that the unit that could be used to measure the temperature is it can be degree Celsius. Para sa kadagdagang kaalaman, pag-usapan naman natin ano ang pagkakaiba ng convection, conduction, and radiation. When we say convection, this is when heat is transferred through gas or liquid by a hotter material moving to a cooler area. This occurs because hotter materials have less density than the colder ones. Okay, ano ba ang example ng convection? Kunwari, nagtimpla ka ng kape. Di ba mapapansin mo na may usok na tumataas? So, yung usok na nakikita mo, yun yung tinatawag natin na convection. Kasi ang nangyari dyan, yung heat ay nagtransfer na from your coffee papunta sa air. Another example, kapag nilabas mo yung yellow sa freezer, nilagay mo sa ibabaw ng inyong table. So, uh, intayin mo lang siya at maya-maya ay matutunaw na siya. So, ano nangyari dyan? It is also because of convection. Yung init na nagagaling sa air ay pumunta naman doon sa ice cube. Kaya, ang nangyayari dyan is natunaw yung iyong ice cube. Boiling water is also an example of convection. When water boils, the heat passes from the burner into the pot, heating the water at the bottom. This hot water rises and cooler water moves down to replace it, causing a circular motion. When we say conduction, this is the process by which heat is transmitted through collisions of the neighboring atoms and molecules. Kalimitan ang conduction, nangyayari ito sa solids at saka sa liquids kung saan yung mga particles at molecules nila ay closer together, ano, kumpara sa gas. Example of conduction is hot food will hit a stoneware or porcelain plate for a time. After a car is turned on, the engine becomes hot. The hood will become warm as heat is conducted from the engine to the hood. Another example, 
you can warm your back muscles with a heating pad. Another example, an ice cube will soon melt if you hold it in your hand. The heat is being conducted from your hand into the ice cube. And last, we have radiation. When we say radiation, it refers to the energy that travels through space or matter in the form of energetic waves or particles. This is the end of our discussion about heat and temperature. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from me. Again, this is Teacher Din May. Kasama mo sa iyong science journey. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in science. See you on my next vlog. Bye!